Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will troubleshoot how to resolve the issue critical process died on your Windows 10 and 11 version. There are many reasons behind this error like corruption inside your Windows file, corruption inside your imaging files, corruption with your hard drive as well and sometimes the hardware issue. So how we can troubleshoot it? So we will try the basic to advanced options. So go to search bar then type as cmd, right click on it, run it as administrator, click on yes option when the prompt opens and first command you need to hit here sfc space slash scan now, sfc stands for system file checker which will scan all the corruption inside your windows and repair those. And this is the command scan now, two times is now. Okay. And this will take almost 15 to 20 minutes. So wait for the process to complete it. It will re resolve all the corruption inside your windows. After completing this process, you need to restart your system. Okay. And then we will follow the second step. Since one step is not enough for this issue, so we can troubleshoot it with the other method as well or you can minimize this option as well. This will run in a background so let me minimize this option. Now after hitting the first command you need to again go to CMD okay, and then again run it as administrator here. You have option when the prompt opens and now you need to hit this command okay i will give this command into my description box and you can also follow on the screen the disk full form is deployment imaging and servicing management so this will repair the issue related to image so hit enter and this will also reinstall the image of your windows so also wait for the process to complete. You need to hit this command after SFC. Okay, it's started now. It will also go to 100%. So you need to wait and sometime it is stuck. So you need to have enough patience. So I'm canceling this process. Okay, but you need to make sure that it is 100% and after that you need to restart your system okay you need to restart your system and then we will follow the third method in the third method we will go to device manager to update the open device manager and first go to display adopter okay and right click on it Click on update driver. Make sure you are connected with the network. Search automatically for driver and it is already installed. So close this option and expand all the options here like computer, disk, okay, and Bluetooth also. And look for yellow explanation mark on it and also update the driver. So let me. Make sure all the drivers are up to dates. Your issue will be fixed. If three methods are not working on your windows, it means that the issue is big. Okay. So we can go to the advanced method now. So in the fourth method, if you are facing this issue after you have updated your windows. Okay. So you can simply uninstall it. You can uninstall it a normal mode or you can uninstall it on a safe mode. So how we can go to the safe mode? Press window plus R button together. Type a MS config. Okay. Hit enter. Click on boot tab option here. Here option and tick this option safe mode and click on apply. Okay. 
and restart your system. Your system will be boot in a safe mode and then follow the same steps. Go to control panel. Open control panel. Click on large icons here. Programs and features. Click on this option. View install updates. Tick this option. Okay. And it will give you all the details when you install your Windows. Click on install on. Okay. And make sure you are choosing the latest one first. So this is the latest one first. Okay. And this is the update feature update here 2020 S2 and other version if you have updated click that option and click on uninstall option click on are you sure yes and the latest windows update will be uninstalled and you will back to your previous windows okay these are the five methods go to cmd we will repair our hard drive with these commands run it as administrator again click on yes option when the prompt opens and now hit this command ch ch k d s k space slash f space slash r what f and r means the R will repair bad sectors and F will repair all the corruption inside your hard drive. So click on yes option and this process will begin after the restart your system. And this might take one to two hours, but this will scan your hard drive and your issue will be fixed if related to hard drive. This is very powerful command. You should try this. If all the five methods are still not working on your windows, so you have left last option which is reset your PC. Okay. Go to search bar then type a reset this PC. You will see same option. Reset this PC. Click on here. Get started. Okay. Then choose option keep my files. If your files are important, then you can also keep this. Keep my files and then wait for the process to complete. This might take two to three hours. So you can choose local reinstall. If any corruption you have found inside your window, so you can choose this option cloud download. Okay. So I'm choosing here local reinstall. Okay. Click on next. All the installed program will be deleted like my programs. Okay. Here are all the programs which I have manually installed here. You can see will be deleted and will be uninstalled. So this is how you can troubleshoot critical process diet on your Windows 10 and 11 version. So hope this video is useful for you. If yes, then hit like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Thanks for watching.